we ever introduce ourselves? Nope. You want to <laughs> Hello, I'm Pat McNamee, CCT Board of Directors and Token Gentile. I'm Jessica Dubell. I stage manage for Chambersburg Community Theater and I am also on the Board of Directors. I'm Matt Levine. I'm on the Board of Directors. And he played Beast in Beauty and the Beast. If you saw it a couple of years ago, he was fantastic. Oh my gosh, I introduced myself with all the candles lit. Yep. You want to stand in front of them and try again? <laughs> I also shouldn't eat a bite right after. <laughs> and I'm Jessica Dubell, and I am also on the board of directors for Cambridgeburg Community Theater, and I am one of their stage managers. So, oh, wait, here, I'll start I got my, my menorah because it's the sixth night of Hanukkah, so I'm ready to light it. Um, and my, I had coffee in here, but I drank it, but this is my happy holidays, um, uh -oh. which I, I had to, I had to get. Ooh, I like your Star Trek one. Nice. Well, and I'm drinking a holiday cookie IPA by New Trail Brewing out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's interesting. It's very sweet. I like it. Not really a drinker anymore. I was when I worked on trips, but not anymore. Oh. <laughs> so I have all my stuff. I already cut it all, so I'd be ready to go. Mm -hmm. So then all we have to do is, I guess, light so things up and and mix things and go from there. Well, can we're you making with... latkes? Is that what we're doing? Yes, we're making latkes. It and... is one of the traditional Hanukkah things that we eat. There's also uh, soufignot, which is the, um, it's like a donut, it's a jelly filled donut, but it's a Hanukkah special favorite. Can't so argue with that. that. I really, really, the only thing, I mean, I love latkes and I'll eat them till the cows come home, but I hate the smell of oil, like throughout my house. It just annoys me. So I've never made like real donuts or a souffignot or anything like that because it just- Well, that's where the uh, holiday candles come in handy. You light them all over the house and eat up the smell. Yes, yes. Well, and that's, I don't Everything know about, I don't know about you, Jess, but my family, on the Hanukkah, they really go hard because one of the things is since the story is all about oil, everything is fried. And it's great until like an hour later when everyone is just in so much pain and stinks. <laughs> I can always smell it in my hair. Or oh, my yeah. Clothes. That was the worst. The worst. So you're <laughs> making, can you talk me through sweet potato latkes? Because that's it's almost exactly the same. Uh, I mean, it really is almost exactly the same. I just grabbed an easy sweet potato latke recipe from online because a lot of people aren't going to have, you know, matzo meal or a lot of the stuff that my my Jewish festival cooking book has. Um, so this one calls for like matzo meal and, and there's a sauce that you make with it. Oh, so good. But it's maple syrup and ginger root and nutmeg and like allspice. And it, it just, when you dump it over it, it's really good. Traditional latkes, of course, are sour cream and applesauce, which I love desperately um, and will. You mean the sour cream is mixed in with it? No. Well, well, not in the latke. Yeah. It goes on after. Oh. So you, you bake, you not bake, you, you cook the latke and then when you're eating it, you put applesauce or you can put sour cream. Or if you're crazy, you put both, which I love. I, I can do without the sour cream. Oh up. yeah, well you don't have to. Applesauce is good too. Apples, apples, yes. So, but the I recipe have... that I shared, I found was really easy and it was online, and I thought that that would be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing mine. So, then Matt, you can talk about what you're doing. Yeah, so I'm doing traditional latkes, and mine are already like ready to be fried up. So what I did, um, you got, I, I. I'm only cooking for me. So I, I only got two smaller russet potatoes and a small yellow onion. And I put them in the food processor on the heavy grate. So they're like mm -hmm. nice and stringy. Some people like like super grated, like mushed up latke, but I like mine to be a little bit more like a hash brown sort of situation. Yeah, so kind of the thicker yeah. grated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's very like hairy, yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope not. Well, yeah, when you, so, um, 
And because you're frying them and potatoes and onions hold a lot of water, um, if you fry them, you can get really soggy um, because water and oil don't match. So what most people do is they take like a dishcloth and they really like they bundle up the potatoes and the onions and they like give them a good like, but what I do, yeah, I use a salad spinner. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it works really well. And then I just added, so there's, um, and then I added some garlic, parsley, because mm -hmm. what do you do a holiday without parsley, and salt, pepper, two large eggs, and um, actually, I like paprika in mine, just a little bit. Ooh, that sounds good. It adds color, too, which is nice. Yes. Um, that's what I, I like the sweet potato. Um, we actually did a, a couple of years ago, our synagogue, the, the one in Chambersburg, we would do, uh, so let me go back a little further. Dr. Himmelfarb used to do latkes for Hanukkah every year. And the year of his passing, obviously he didn't do them. So we came up with the idea of having kind of a, everybody bring in their own recipe and then we'll vote to see who has the best one. And Johan and I, my husband and I made uh, sweet potato latkes and we got first place. And I don't cook well or a lot. So I kept that one up on a cabinet for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I think that sweet potato have that nice sweet flavor to it that you should, uh, you should show the mixing bowl so they can see what it looks like while they're doing it. Well, this is because all they're seeing is your arm. Right. Okay. So here I'm mixing and I put in the flour and the egg and I think I have a bit too much sweet potato. So I may end up putting a little bit more in. We'll see how it because it has to hold together in that in like a really nice way when you put it into the the oil. And if it doesn't hold right, then you need a little bit more egg or maybe a little bit more flour. Which I'm trying mine flourless, so we'll see how that goes. Ooh, well, because my recipe, it just says one pound. I didn't weigh it, so it's not like I weighed it. Really, Alexa, tell me what you So you, you just put them in like a fryer, a fryer fryer kind of thing. You don't like fry them in a pan. My pan over here. And I actually okay. want to start turning that on to medium hot so that uh, the oil, I have a quarter cup of oil in there and I will uh, start frying it up once it gets warm. And what I usually is that, do is uh, to make 10 sure. W 30 or 40. <laughs> um, I just use vegetable oil. Oh, okay. Yeah. But whenever you, you'll know it's ready, whenever you just like take a piece and throw it in, not throw, but drop it in and it'll do that. How's that again? You know, it's ready when the oil is popping all over your glasses and you can't see anything. Yes. Yeah. Um, actually, <laughs> My husband does like to cook with oil. So we have one of those sieves that go over top of it, kind of like a screen. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, my mom is an amazing cook and I never had to cook when I was a kid because mom always cooked. So cooking has never been my favorite thing to do, um, but I love to bake. So um, I, I thought about making cookies for this, but then, you know, it's, we're talking about the holidays and since we really wanted to, you know, Hanukkah, really it's latkes. Everybody thinks about latkes whenever we do the holiday. We did do sugar cookies when I was a kid all the time. And we had a uh, dreidel cutouts and menorah cutout. So I just did that with my kids like two weeks ago. And then we decorated everything and it was a lot of fun. Well, I came from a home where my mother, um, is not Jewish and my, my father is. So we got sort of double duty around the house. And my mother is a phenomenal cook. Mm -hmm. um, she does it for a living now. And she, she would, you know, Christmas morning, you'd have the cinnamon buns and all that good stuff. But I love me some latkes. Yes. Oh, I do love latkes. Oh. And I make a mean chocolate babka. If you've ever had chocolate babka. Do ya. Oh, yes. Whenever they, uh, the Chambersburg, uh, the Congregation Sons of Israel, whenever we do the, whenever we did pre COVID, of course, the heritage days, and we would have stuff, I always made chocolate babkas. 
for that, my husband and I. It's always going to be my husband and I because I'm a terrible cook. Just a terrible cook. But I'm a good baker, so the chocolate vodka came out nice. So the latkes are, are they pretty much to be eaten like a, a snack treat kind of thing? Or like, are they part of a meal or? It could be a meal. I usually use it as my potato for a holiday uh, dinner. We'll always, we always have latkes on the first night of Hanukkah or when we do our big Hanukkah get together with my family because it's just tradition. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these in. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see how we go. Yeah. Um, so you put them in and then you put in about a tablespoon. And then once it's in, you'll flatten it a little bit. So it's not that ball. It cooks better when you flatten it a bit. I like using my hands. I did wash my hands first. Yeah. <laughs> so Hanukkah, for a lot of people who don't know, is called the Festival of Lights. And the reason that we fry everything is because whenever the Maccabees went to war, there was not enough, when they came back, there was not enough oil to keep the eternal light lit. And there was only enough oil for one night, but the, it stayed lit for eight nights. So that's why we call it the Festival of Lights and why we fry everything in oil. want to talk for a second just about the difference between the menorah and the Hanukkah menorah because I do have a regular um, oh I don't I don't have a regular menorah I, I didn't know there was a difference oh my gosh you go I'm so ready for this tell me more tell me more like does he have a menorah no if sweet. you look so this is what they, she was talking about with keeping it lit in the um in in the temple right there's only six there's only seven here three on each side and one in the middle but we have our hanukkah menorah where we have nine because we have four on each side so that we can have the eight nights um and the one in the middle the shamash which is the helper candle that's right and what's the significance of the helper candle it is literally the helper candle. That's what it means, shamash, the, hand, uh, the helper candle. It, so, it, it's so that you can use it to light the other candles. Yeah, you don't take the lighter to each candle. You light the, the one in the middle, and then you go to the side. And we'll show you that whenever we light the candles for our first night or our sixth night. Oops. May have burned it a little bit. So we would always do one big party at the end where we would have, you know, menorahs lighting and we would do uh, the presents with the family would come down. So we wouldn't do it on Christmas because for our family, Christmas was all about working at the Salvation Army and helping with, my mother has been doing the, the dinners there for the last 30 years on Christmas uh -huh. Day. And this year we are doing it. So um, we need delivery drivers for, for the Chambersburg and Waynesboro and Greencastle and Mercersburg areas. So anybody wants to volunteer. We also have to talk about um, It's a Wonderful Life. Yes, that's 19th and 20th, December 19th at 7 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. and December 20th at, at 2 p.m. Uh, the tickets will be online on Chambers, uh, Chambersburg Community Theater's website. And the tickets are only good for that time. They're only $5, which is really nice. And it's, it's for that time. We're not doing, we can't, with copywriting, do it more than those two different times. So 7.30 and 2 o'clock. And it's the same yeah. cast as we had in 2018. You'll get to hear me do a nice New York accent. Well, that's worth the price of admission right there. I know, $5. Well, they don't have to pay for it right here. And we've already had a couple of rehearsals and it's really exciting and a lot of fun. I was in the original cast 
this year, I don't get to do all the uh, sound effects that I did when I did it in 2018. That's a shame because you were excellent at it. It was a lot of fun to do. It was just to walk the shoes. I got to really break glass. I got to like pretend like George jumped into the water. It was really neat. We have all of those sound effects left over from when we actually did it. So I think we're going to post edit those in. So we'll have all the original sound effects as well. Which is yeah, you were an excellent Foley artist. <laughs> I even played Yenta in Fiddler on the Roof. You did? Yeah. And I was the only Jewish nun in Sound of Music. <laughs> and now you're out of the habit. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking I needed to oh. show And here's mine. They're mine. They look pretty Very nice. yummy. They do. Let's see. And they're actually, they're holding together really well. So what I did was good. It was two medium potatoes. Um, came to about a pound. It's nice. I can honestly say that my favorite Hanukkah memories are from childhood making cookies with my mom and my brother and my next door neighbors who, um, who we lived in a double house. And so we would eat dinner with them every other night and they would eat dinner with, at our house every other night. So we kind of shared our childhood and the four kids, we would, be, we would be making cookies and making a mess and it was wonderful. Well, that sounds fun. The only thing I could think of that is a Christmas tradition for me that I can do is, is on my Star Trek ornaments. I actually stopped collecting maybe two years ago because I was, there wasn't any more room on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> but I have the original Enterprise, the Hallmark Enterprise. My, we had a uh, get together once at uh, my friend's house because he was the only one of the group that had a color TV. We wanted to see if Spock was green. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, they look pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. I didn't turn on the fan because I didn't want it to be too loud. Oh, yeah. My what? house smells now. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> These smell good. This? No. <laughs> Pat, are you ready with it? Yeah. Okay. So I'll dutifully bow my head. So you always light from right to left, the same way that you read Hebrew is the same way that you light the menorah. That's how I always remembered which way to go. And these candles, inevitably always go out after you light them. <laughs> I love Hanukkah candles. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to light the Hanukkah menorah. May take a few hours, but we'll get there. All right, stripped wax on my arm. And uh, our synagogue would always do a everybody bring in their menorah on a Sunday morning. We would have our big our big Hanukkah party and everybody would bring a menorah in. And we would all light our menorahs and it was one of the most beautiful things to see eight or 10 or 12 menorahs lit. So let's have a bite of our lummy, yummy latkes. Matt with applesauce, me with sour cream. We have to see your plate. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I nailed it. Good for I, you. I aren't bad either. They look a little dark on the screen, but 
I assure you they're not that that dark. Some really some really good looking ones here. Sam. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, this is probably the first time I've ever used a fork to eat latkes. <laughs> We're just being polite for the screen, I right? And this is how it's normally. Mm -mm. Well, being Irish, I love me some potatoes, so I can't. Uh, just, I can't see me not liking those. So when I was in Dublin, Pat, I. It was like my third or fourth day there and I needed a vegetable. And I was at lunch and I ordered whatever I ordered. And I said to the waitress, I was like, what, like, what vegetable options do you have? And she goes, vegetables? We have baked potatoes, sweet potato, fried potatoes, mashed potatoes, whipped potatoes, baby potatoes, and seasonal vegetables. I said, and what's, <laughs> what's the seasonal vegetable? She said, smaller potatoes. <laughs> Really? That's hilarious. I got the seasonal vegetables. <laughs> That's great. When I, was at, when I was in Dublin, I had uh, bangers and mash. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those are good too. Mm. <laughs> little manish. The guys are in There you go. Thank you so much for joining us for this Hanukkah segment of our happy holidays at Chambersburg Community Theater. I hope you enjoyed our latkes and our token Gentile who joined us. Thank you, Pat, for joining Matt and I for latkes. We love you all a latka. Oh. Wait. Can we have like a little bloopers at the end? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to edit this part out. <laughs> well, you've you been are. a real bench. <laughs> Thanks. I <laughs> dropped one. Friends, this is why I don't cook. Wait. Happy holidays. <laughs> That's so freaking cheesy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. This is our segment. <laughs> Happy holidays. Get it? Holla. Holla. I'm out of applesauce. <laughs>